Hello, dear friend. Thank you for tuning in on me again. And may the Lord bless this little 10-minute message to your heart. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. I want to speak to you on the fact that there are some ways to <clears throat> find peace and to please God. Ways <clears throat> to find peace and to please God. It's very important scriptures and ones that I love and I share with you. It's in Psalm 37 and it's verses 5 through 7. And here's what it says. <clears throat> Delight yourself in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. So here's number one, delight yourself in the Lord. And thank God, thank God for the Lord. Thank God for your God that made you. Thank God for your Holy Heavenly Father. Thank God for the Lord Jesus Christ, your Lord and your God. And thank God for the precious Holy Spirit, the divine trinity the divine one God and, and three issues and three people, three persons. And so we find that it's good to delight ourselves in the Lord. That is, just think about him and rejoice in him. Think about him and be grateful for him. Think about him and try to love him more and more. This is delighting in the Lord. Depend on him instead of yourself. And so we do this, delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Not only will he give you what you need, but he'll give you what you desire. Now, if you, if you delight yourself in him, then your desires will be in line with his will. If you delight in the Lord, then you'll want the things that, that, he, that pleases him to give to you. And so delight yourself in him as best you can. And let him direct your life and daily bless you. And daily find in him the answer to all your questions. Delight yourself in the Lord and he'll give you the desires of your heart. Oh, it's important to know that. And then he says, uh, commit your way into the Lord. Commit your way, trust in the Lord. And he will bring it to pass. Commit your way to the Lord. That is Try to turn over your life to the Lord every day the best you can. Try to turn your heart over to him and give him the desires of your heart and say, Lord, I want what you want. What would you have me to do, Lord? That's a good question to ask him every day. Every day. What would you have me do? Lord, lead me in the way that pleases you. I want your will. I want your will. And sometimes, many times, his will and ours coincide right together. But whether they do not, then always seek His will. What He wants for you is always best. And He knows what's best for you. And so let Him lead you in a daily way and you will find life's unraveling as a blessing and a boon and you'll find a way out. And God will bless you. Just commit your way to the Lord. Commit it to him as best you can. God knows what's best for you. And know that he's there, right there with you, whatever's going on. And he's praying for you. He's interceding for you. But he's letting you make your decisions, but they'll be made according to his divine inner direction, his intuition in your heart. So commit your way into the Lord. Trust also in him. Trust in the Lord to do what only God can do. Trust in Him to do what you can never do, but what He can do every day. Trust in Him to know that He knows best, and though you do not understand fully what, what's going on, He knows completely what is going on, and He's going to work it out. And it'll always be the best for you, because He loves you. And so trust in the Lord. Trust in Him instead of yourself so much. Trust in Him instead of people. Trust in the Lord. Depend on God and wait for Him to move, to answer, to open the door. And so it's important, and He will bring it to pass. It will come to pass. It will happen. It will take place when you wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord, and it's never time wasted. Wait on the Lord and it's always a good time of waiting. 
and so wait on the Lord and he'll bring it to pass. He loves you very much. Oh, he loves you very much. And then it says in verse 7, uh, <clears throat> Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Rest in the Lord. We need to rest in the Lord. That means quit worrying about things that you can't understand and unravel or can't find an answer to what what is the thing that needs to be done. You're facing a problem in your life and you don't know the answer, you know how it's going to come out. And it's a burden to your heart. Now the Bible says stop worrying about it. Stop thinking about it. Turn it over to the Lord and say, Lord, I'm not going to worry. I'm not going to think about this problem. I'm going to leave it in your hands and I'm going to believe that you're going to take care of it in your own way, in your own time. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Rest in the Lord. Over in the Bible in Matthew, in the 11th chapter of Matthew, <clears throat> verse 28, Jesus said, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. I'll give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. Learn of me, for I'm meek and lowly in heart. You shall find rest unto your soul. <clears throat> The way to find rest unto your soul is to be meek and lowly in heart. Seek to overcome pride, the thinking that you're better than everybody else. Think of others as more important even than you are. Look to others instead of looking to yourself. Think and consider what they need except in, instead of uh, thinking always what you need and want. Learn to be meek and lowly of heart, and you will find rest unto your souls. It's soul rest, and it's the kind of rest that takes away all problems. Over in the Bible again, it says we need to rest and regard our salvation. Uh, the Bible says in Romans six twenty three, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. <clears throat> Now, the wages of sin is death. You work for the devil. You work for the wages of sin, and it's death. But, Lord God, the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And so God gives you a gift. Now, you don't work for a gift. You simply receive it. You simply accept it. And I want you to accept the fact that God loves you. You don't deserve it. You didn't work for it, maybe, but you can, you can know that the Bible said, "Whosoever will believe in Jesus will accept and receive the love of God." Oh, the grace of God and the power of salvation. You'll be saved forever. The gift of God. If someone gives me something, I don't do a thing but just take it and receive it and praise God. It's mine because it's given to me. Now, the gift of God is salvation through Jesus Christ our Lord. So he saves us, and then he keeps us safe by leading us and guiding us day after day. And he works through us, and then we begin to work. We've got jobs to do for him. We've got things to do. We've got people to talk to. We've got uh, things to give, and we've got people to help. And we've got all kinds of things that we need to keep in mind and do and labor. Like Paul said, I labor according to his working, which works in me. And so that's the fact that God lives in you. And therefore, you can rest in the Lord and wait patiently for it. Amen. Hallelujah. Wait on the Lord and he will strengthen your heart. Remember these words, Psalm 37, verse 5 through 7. Oh, praise God. Delight in the Lord. Delight yourself in the Lord. He'll give you the desires of your heart. Oh, praise God. Commit your way unto the Lord. Trust also in Him, and He'll bring it to pass. Rest in the Lord, and wait patiently for Him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. These are the ways to find peace and to please God. Amen. 
What a fellowship, what a joy divine, leaning on the everlasting arm. What a blessed me, this what a peace is mine, leaning on the everlasting arms. Leaning on Jesus, leaning on Jesus, safe and secure from all along. Leaning, leaning, leaning on the everlasting arms. What have I to dread, what have I to fear, leaning on the everlasting arms? I have blessed peace with my Lord so near, leaning on the everlasting arms. Leaning on Jesus, leaning on Jesus, safe and secure from all alarms. Leaning, oh, leaning, leaning on the everlasting arms. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Pray a brief prayer with me and be sure you're going to heaven. Hallelujah. And that God's with you all the way down here until you get home. Just say, dear God, please forgive me. I do believe in Jesus. I believe he died for me, paid for all my sins on Calvary. I believe he rose again. And I believe he's coming back. Come in my heart, Lord Jesus. Help me live for you. Amen and amen. God bless you, dear friend. Pray a prayer like that and, and then and find you a good church and worship God with his people. <clears throat> Remember to seek the word of God and to seek those things that, that give you peace and that please God. God loves you and I love you. God bless. Amen and amen. Uh-huh. <clears throat>